Man, that is one beautiful tractor. Oh, hey. Don't act like you don't sit on a couch in your shop barn and admire your tractors, too. Let's get to it. Alright, so we got this thing all ready for... All ready for corn and soybean planting, so we need to get it backed up. We are done with our deep tillage for the year. So let's get this thing parked. Park it over here where we got it. There we go. Thing just looks tiny behind this thing, doesn't it? So we're gonna play musical tractors here for a little bit. So the tractor on the field cultivator right now needs to go on the planter. So we're gonna put this on the field cultivator. And of course, everything is in the way of the planter. Like I said, we're gonna have to play musical implements for a while. Let this thing warm up a little bit. Old Peter Belt. Pull this straight out here. Good looking track, or good looking semi, I have to say. Alright, now we need to very carefully back this 8R in here. Hook up to the planter. There we go. Got everything hooked up. Now we will take this to shop, get all the digital imp readouts to get all the digital displays to hook up. There we go. We need to park the semi back in. Shed. All right. Well, that's done. Now we can finally get our chisel hooked up. go. Now we should be ready to go. Okay, now we need to take this beast and start field cultivating in front of our uh, corn planter here quickly. We're going to get this bad girl folded out. Go. Do like how slow this thing unfolds. Definitely 
realistic. All right. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going. Go around the outskirts here. You could barely even feel this field cultivator on this 8960. Pulls it with ease. My old pony's still getting it done here. Go. Go around. It's kind of a unique field. So this is the last field we created. So want to plant some corn. Might end up chopping this corn. We'll have to see how our yield looks. Been good so far. Easy first pass around the field here. Outside the cab, I think I missed a little there. Kind of surprising. I didn't think I was missing some. Oh well. So here we are incorporating the line into the field. Getting this all incorporated in. So we have multiple fields we need to get done today. I'd like to get my land and my brother's lands planted. So the rest of our land we're going to plant into uh, corn. And then my dad is going to plant his into soybeans. His big field. I used to stay up on it no, I know. I left a pretty big gap on the outside of that field there. Straighten the side of this field out here so we can do up and down rows. Doesn't take long at all with this 8960. Alright, so we just finished this field up. Didn't take us long at all. We're just going to take it slow. Because we just have to go past one contour and then we head down to our bottom field down there so the wheat is still not up so we can drive over it without killing it with these tires go get this girl started in the field all right so we'll let brother take that off and we will head on to the start corn plant. Alright, get this old John Deere, wait for the screens to load up. Alright, so we got 
our screens to hook up to our planner Great Plains so now all we have to do is go fill up with some nitrogen starter nitrogen so we need to go down to we need to head on down to the Mack truck fill up with some starter fertilizer slow down a little bit all right pull this all over here all right so now we got 400 gallons oh I don't know are we gonna be able to make this and yeah, this is tight Oh. oh man, that's another tight spot. Alright. Probably should have just backed up. We're definitely going to take the scenic route here. Another tight fit. Alright. So, we just did a big circle around my brother's farm there but we've got the planter filled up there's the 8960 as it makes its first round all right let's get up here get the planter unfolded Start in the field. There we go. Alright, uh, we're heading around. A ridge marker out. We'll at least have to stay outside for this first round. Otherwise, I'll do the exact same thing I did with my field cultivator. Miss some land over here. Planner's working really good. I really like the looks of it. So, definitely a unique planner. So, this is what they call a side by side planting, I believe. So, it's planting two sets right beside each other. Then there's a center section left open so which usually means you can plant a little bit higher population and you you probably get some more uh, sunlight coverage some more crop coverage so Lee, I don't know who, who was the first one. I know Great Plains, they definitely have a lot of planters that have it. So, it's kind of different than like the split, split row planters out there, but. We use a ridge marker for the outside path of this field.
start doing the up and down rows now. I'm really surprised how much you can get done with this great playing cedar here. Even though this Great Plains keeps pu pushing around the back end of this tractor, it pulls so much better in the end game cedar. Alright, so we got our first field planted. We're gonna drive around the outside of this just to keep the compaction down from the center of the field. So it looks like we need to top off our liquid fertilizer. Oh, a little bit crazy there. Planter's heavy on the back end of this tractor. Gotta take these turns slower. So now we got that field planted. Of course, when you're doing the planting, you always plant your your fields first. That's just how it goes, right? Oh. Planters pulling us all over the place. Oh man. Gonna have to take it slow down this hill so we don't break our planter by barreling into something. Move away, birds. Fly away. Fly away. Alright. So I need to back up here. There we go. Back the yield pro up. Alright, so now we're topped off. Probably going to do something I shouldn't be doing. There we go. Running on the inside. Go. Get a view of the planter as it makes its outside pass here. The front look of the John Deere as it's rolling coal. Looks like we're already on his third headland of this field. Won't be long and we will be done. We are just doing the last couple rounds. And this our last contour here. So don't got much to plant yet. Got to get this little corner here. There we go. I'll get 
this. There we go. So we'll fold this back up. It's just getting them tires right across our field there. There we go. Get this. Now we're going to head down. We'll use our little grass patch here. So we're going to head down to my brother's bottom contour. Start planting that. Making pretty good time with all this planting. Head down the road here, road and speed. Let's see if we can get to 31 mile an hour. Woo! Yep, got there. It's a John Deere, it'll get there. We'll go in, means we're running the planter, we don't want to cut across that ditch. Better slow down this turn. There we go. So it looks like our field cultivator is still working nicely in front of us. Missed a corner over here but nothing huge. Get this old girl folded out. started in our second to last field of corn here, our first of our brother's field, and we'll go over and watch the 8960. Watch the planter here as it finishes up its first pass around here. Start in on its second headland now. We just finished up cultivating here. So we're going to get this folded up. Now I'm going to take this back to my farm just to get it re-lubed up ready for my dad's field and that's basically it for spring planting we just have uh looks like the planter's going good so planting corn just have one more contour to plant in corn actually i spoke the planter's doing good and he's doing a circle of death Let's get this fixed. Park it into our shop barn for the night. And then we will start cultivating for soybeans tomorrow. Take this nice and wide. Make sure we don't go in the ditch with our implement bin something up. It's not an easy uh, farm place to drive through, brother. Alright, go around here. There we go. Drive. There. Come on. 
8960, you can do it. What's up, beast up the hill? So, looks like our windmill's going there. Got some wind action going up. Do like how the windmill turns now. Alright. Park this into our shop here. Field didn't take long at all. Now all we have to do is take this planter back and get it changed over to beans. Slow down a little bit. We still have it extended out. There. Now one little strip. And that's corn planting of 2019 here in Chippewa. Fold this girl up. There we go. Get over here into the grass. There we go. Jump onto the road. Full speed ahead. So we'll head back to our house here, our farmyard. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later here on Chippewa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time